Yes. I believe Keefe D is a mule. I believe he's a mule. Even if he was involved, even if he was involved, Keefe D is a mule. Tupac was assassinated nearly 30 years ago. So was Big. We already know that both of them were under FBI surveillance before their murder. If you're under FBI surveillance, you know what that means? The FBI know who shot you. They know who shot you. I remember, they know who shot you. So them arresting Keefe D 27 years later, in my opinion, I don't believe this is about Keefe D. I believe they're going to make Keefe D the fall guy. He was involved, but he wasn't alone. This was a very highly organized, orchestrated hit. Tupac's and Biggs. I believe they're going to make Keefe D the, the fall guy to shut the door on the case before any additional evidence is brought forward that could implicate anyone who is still living. And Dr. Omar Johnson, you're exactly right. I don't agree with everything you say sometime in your other interview, but you're right. They're shutting the case down because there are other people involved, the legends like P. Diddy and other big people. Like you said, there's no statute of limitation to murder, so they want to shut it down to cover up for other people. And I'm going to let Dr. Umar Johnson finish talking. See the fall guy, so we can say we solved the murder, it's over, and we don't have to worry about people continually to dig this up and try to find out who's really behind it. So Keefe D is going to be made the fall guy. It's no different than James Earl Ray being made the fall guy in Dr. King's murder. It's no different than the guy who was made to be the patsy in the John F. Kennedy murder. You always have somebody involved who's close enough to it who you can blame the murder on if things get too tough. You always see that in high-profile orchestrated hits. And I believe one of the reasons why we will never get to the bottom of Biggie's murder or Tupac's murder is because LAPD was involved in both of them. And the city of LA cannot afford to get hit with a lawsuit that indicts half of the department or a quarter of the department or the major place. You heard what he said? LA can't afford no lawsuit like that. Because remember they had a David Mackey and them. They were cops and they were robbing banks. You had uh, Reggie White and his father, allegedly two crooked cops. Then Reggie White goes to the uh, fair joint for selling marijuana. So, you know, he was always a crook. You just don't wake up in the morning and become a crooked cop. You were born a crooked cop. Murder. That would be a windfall of a financial settlement. They can't afford it. They can't afford it. They would have to fire everybody reorganize the entire LAPD and possibly the Las Vegas PD as well. I believe that he is taking the rap in order to exonerate a lot of people in the police system of Los Angeles.